Are you familiar with AI? It is a pretty common term that is used nowadays as part of the smart technology that will operate itself to perform tasks. If you believe anything can and will be automated with artificial intelligence, then you might not be surprised to know how many notable media organizations already use AI to generate content. But taking the AI technology one step further, a new AI is here that is capable of writing from essays to codes. And in this video, we'll unveil some of its secrets. For decades, machines have struggled with the subtleties of human language. Even with a recent development, machines are reported to fail to crack this cognitive challenge until OpenAI introduced the GPT-3. AIs can adapt to their environment and learn new things, but they are not alive. They just got that high level of coding fed into them. A fact for those who are conscious about AI taking over mankind. What exactly is GPT-3? The generative pre-trained Transformer 3 GPT-3 language model is the latest breakthrough in natural language processing, NLP. The NLP is a field of artificial intelligence that deals with how machines interact with human language. GPT-3 hails from the for-profit research laboratory OpenAI, which was started by entrepreneurs Elon Musk and Sam Altman and other investors in 2015 with a $1 billion pledge. Microsoft invested another $1 billion in 2019. When OpenAI first published a paper on their new language generation AI, GPT-3, the hype was slow to build. The paper indicated GPT-3, the biggest natural language AI model yet. Transformer-based AI language generators have already been around for a few years, first appearing in 2017, and this isn't the first offering of OpenAI. OpenAI GPT appeared in 2018, and the upgrade, GPT-2, was released in February 2019. Compared to OpenAI GPT, GPT-2 was a sleek and sophisticated model with some 1.5 billion parameters for constructing text, and GPT-3 holds about 175 billion parameters. It's better equipped than any other AI model out there to spin out realistic, convincing text. But how does it work? GPT-3 is a language prediction model. This means that it is an algorithmic structure designed to take one piece of language, which of course has to be given as an input, and transform it into what it predicts is the most useful following piece of language for the user. It attempts to identify the next big word in a string of words based on the ones that came before. Getting a bit tacky, let me give you an example. He was hungry, so he went out to grab some. Now you can fill in this blank with whatever you want. But as the flow of the sentence, the likelihood of food getting in the blank is far higher than drinks, don't you think? That's how exactly this AI chooses words to fill up a sentence. Pretty impressive, right? It can do this thanks to the training analysis that is carried out on the vast body of text used to pre-train it. OpenAI has already expended the huge amount of computing resources necessary for GPT-3 to understand how languages work and are structured. Okay, what can it do? Well, this is the thing that made you click this video. What are the current deliverables of this AI? GPT-3 can create anything that has a language structure. You can ask it anything and it will provide you with answers. Just look at this interview where it answers one's question as Albert Einstein, even exploring different aspects of physics. It can write articles for sure and this very skill made the GPT-3 hit the headlines. According to The Guardian, this is an article that was fully written by the GPT-3, or as the heading of the article says, a robot wrote this entire article. Are you scared yet, human? It was given a topic to create a convincing article about how robots come in peace. And this is the result of that assignment, apparently. You will find the whole article link in the description, as well as the interview link, if you want to know how good the writing level of this AI is exactly. Did I mention that it can code as well? Recent experiments with the language prove that AI can simplify the work of developers by producing custom code. It can code in Python, CSS, JSX, which are all programming languages. Serving as a universal tool for programmers, GPT-3 is another step forward to this simple interaction with software systems. Some responses. In June 2020, introduction of GPT-3 was done. 
Then, the San Francisco-based lab took a different approach with GPT-3. It neither withheld nor granted public access. Instead, it gave the algorithm to select researchers who applied for the private beta to gather their feedback and commercialize the technology by the end of the year 2020. So, it is on the way to completing its first year of launch, and here are some feedbacks from the media. The Verge called GPT-3 an invention that could end up defining the decade to come. The New York Times has described it as by far the most powerful language model ever created. According to MIT Technology Review, OpenAI's new language generator GPT-3 is shockingly good and completely mindless. It becomes clear that the GPT-3 is a sign of breakthrough innovation philosopher Regina Rini jumped into the topic, stating, GPT-3 is not a mind, but it is also not entirely a machine. It's something else. Isn't there any limitation? So, this AI is showing some really good potential in the field of writing. And does that mean it is going to make the writing industry completely autonomous, making those writers obsolete? This is where things get interesting, really. No matter how good this AI writes or constructs those sentences at the end of the day, it is still a software-based machine. It can only analyze the past examples of writing available on the internet. Emotional feedback, including facial and vocal cues, help humans adjust their content and communications to take into account the feelings of others. And these you can't expect from a machine. So, until GPT-3 develops emotional intelligence, it will need a moral and emotionally intelligent supervisor to prevent it from straying off course. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman himself, has said the GPT-3 hype is too much. AI is going to change the world, but GPT-3 is just an early glimpse. Another huge limitation is that GPT-3 produces plausible but incorrect output many times. Associate Professor of Computer Science and Engineering, Julian Togelius, states it brilliantly. GPT-3 often performs like a clever student who hasn't done their reading trying to bluff their way through an exam. So, GPT-3 is still in an unreliable phase. What about GPT-3's future? So long as the writing is based on originality, AI replacing humans is far from a dream. That is why it's described as an assistive technology. GPT-3 is nothing but a new tool for a world of AI researchers and entrepreneurs, a way of building all sorts of new technologies and new products. As the CEO of OpenAI said, GPT-3 is still in its very early stage, and as technology advances, it will also advance, but will it reach such a stage where it will need no human observation? The answer is no for now, but do we know what the future holds for us, for sure? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.